Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you guys how to install Opera, the latest Opera browser in Linux and this is amazing, the new Opera is unbelievably good. I would say I'm so addicted to this new version of Opera, it's just so good, so fast. So I'm using Manjaro Linux, so as you can see it's a Manjaro Linux, but doesn't matter, it would work with any your distribution, you just go to Opera website and then should be ready to go let's give it i'm gonna show you a step by step way to install it in your non debian based or non ubuntu based operating system so the new opera has introduced so many new features unbelievably good seemingly and is so good i'm enjoying it every bit except few here errors here and there but mostly is okay so in manjaro or any other distributions it doesn't support the dev format you just have to extract extract it and then uh, once you extract because dev is nothing but a compressed archive file so where yeah here i have extracted the dev format and then you extract the, this file as well and then let's close the firefox and let's see it's extracting and then you have to open your linux version uh seemingly um your root folder so once i know that this is my root folder or you can just type in root or the forward slash in your address bar it will take you to the root folder and then you go to the user folder and you have to figure it out which folder is uh, your library folder for Manjaro or Archbish uh, distribution. You have lib64, but originally it's just a leaf folder. Uh, lib64 is just a link. So what I'm gonna do, the one, because Ubuntu uses a different naming, uh, folder naming convention. So we have to um, rename some file here. So we go to the user, let's, let's call this folder lib as in, in Manjaro. And then I'm gonna change this folder to A so it doesn't have a conflict. So I move this folder, control C card and paste here. So we have this folder empty. We can delete this folder now. Everything else should be okay to go. But here is the thing this file is a symbolic, symbolic link to the actual operating program which is residing inside the userly folder. So here is your actual Opera. So we have to change this to that. So this is gonna be here if I go to the properties of the file. I just have to change, remove this. So that is pointing to the same folder. This means the parent folder and then inside in the parent folder you have leaf folder and then you have opera then you have opera. Now it's good. It's linking to the same parent folder, leaf folder, opera and opera. This is the opera program. So now one more thing we have to do by default opera the version of uh, uh, the version ffng ffmpeg library version that comes with opera doesn't work too very well with the videos normally so in manjaro what we have to do we have to install something called uh, in the software center we just have to search for let's see i don't remember probably let's see what i have installed to date so tony 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 Okay, let's maybe here FFMPEG MPEG. Let's see what shows up here. Chromium. So what we have to install is called Chromium FFMPEG. So it's a version of FFMPEG with which has all the supported formats for video files. Uh, so we have to use this version of FM, FFMPEG with our Opera. So we have to install this package is from the snap. Uh, once is this package is installed, what we gonna do? Uh, since I already have that installed, we gonna remove this version of FFMPG and replace with the one. 
um, installed by the Chromium FF. So remove this one. And I'm gonna go in the root folder, Linux root folder, and snap, and then snap D probably. Is it a snap D? I'm not quite sure where it is. Chromium, Chromium common or current 34. Snap D probably. A common. Where, where are they? Um, Okay, let me find out if I go to the this I already have Opera installed in my computer, so I can just find out from there. User lib Opera. So this version of FFmpg coming from this folder. Let's go to that folder. So we have to after we install the Chromium FFmpg, we can go to this folder. It's f snapd snap Chromium FFmpg 34. And then this version of F so you have two versions that comes with the Chromium FFMPG, but go with this version, which is more latest. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna create a symbolic link of this file into the Opera folder. For that, we have to open a terminal here and then type in this command LNS to create a symbolic link. And then we have to copy the address of this folder, which is copy and then paste here. And then also follow it by the name of this file. Copy that and then there you go. That's all. Suppose you have a space in the folder directory, you have to put the double quotes, but for the safety reasons, we put the double quotes and then there you go. And is, you can see the FFMPG library is created here. Now it's a symbolic link to the Chromium version of the FFMPG and the Opera is gonna use that version. There you go, that's all. So we're now ready to install Opera. All we have to do now is just open a terminal here and then we have to copy all the files here using this command because everything in this folder would be copied to the, our system user folder of this folder this folder and then after you enter this command this opera will be installed in your system and that's it thank you so much for watching my video until next time subscribe to my channel bye bye